welcome back to the Nutty Beauty channel. So I know you're probably wondering what's going on sis, why you're here looking like this. And I decided to show you guys my wash and wig prep routine. So if you wanna see how I take some tender love and care on this fro of mine and prep it for my wig, keep watching. And by the way, I did not do my makeup for this video. That makes no sense, I'm about to wash my hair. But I had a photo shoot today and yeah, so I'm about to take off my makeup too. So that I can really get into my hair, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying. So I wanted to dampen my hair so that I could prep it for my pre-poo. So I ran my hair under the sink and decided to pre-poo my hair with some Tresemme air conditioner. For those of you who don't know what pre-pooing is, pre-pooing is a treatment done before shampooing your hair to help aid against the shampoo's tendency to strip your hair of its natural hair oils and moisture. So I'm going to be using conditioner, but you can pre-poo your hair with an oil or whatever fits you best. So now I'm sectioning my hair into four sections just to make the application of the conditioner easier and to ensure that I don't miss any parts of my hair. I want my hair to be completely covered in conditioner. So after the 15 minutes, I take off my shower cap and I begin to section my hair off into four sections again so that I can comb it out a little bit because when I'm washing my hair, I don't want, I want to reduce the amount of tangling I get. So I like to just try and comb it out a little bit and yeah. Once it's in its quadrant, I kind of separate it again into almost like another half so that I can comb it out because combing out one section is going to be a lot and it's going to be hard and tangly so I split it into another like subsection and combed it that way. I'm combing my hair with a wide tooth comb and I'm starting from the tips of my hair and working my way downwards. You never want to try and comb your hair from the root up because us 4C girls, our hair isn't going like that. It's too tangled, so you really have to take your time when you're combing your hair. Start from the tip and go down to the roots. As you'll soon see, it may look like I lost a lot of hair, but I had my hair in for two months, and your hair is supposed to shed every day. So since my hair was in for so long, it didn't have that time to shed, so that I lose the hair while I'm detangling it. But if you're another person that goes through that, trust me, you're not losing a lot of hair. It's natural, don't be alarmed. On to the shower. So right now, I'm just taking it out of its sections. I'm over there struggling. But I'm taking it out of its sections, and I'm going to let it, let the water just run through my hair wash out all the um, conditioner that was in it and let that just run through a little bit. So now I'm just going to take my Cantu shampoo and lather that through my hair wrap my scalp because it's so dirty. Like I said, it was two months that I left it in and just wash it twice.
real. <laughs> Where'd my hair go? Who knows? But right now I'm going to prepare to prep my hair for my deep treatment mask using my Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. Why I said that twice, I don't really know, but yeah. So I'm going to section my hair into four sections again and then begin to slap all that deep treatment mask on my hair. about three hours max so now I'm gonna just take out each section and begin to detangle it basically repeating the same steps I did with my pre -poo. I'm just twisting my hair back into its four quadrants because I'm currently getting ready to go to the salon to get my hair blown out and trimmed and I want them to wash out my conditioner so they can go through the process correctly and yeah these are my little twisties <laughs> so my hair is all blown out nice and trimmed and healthy and I'm going to get ready to start sectioning and parting my hair so that I can cornrow it so now I'm just trying to get my middle part and make it really precise so it's in the middle and everything just looks delayed on me. So I like to have two perimeter braids going around because I don't, I actually don't sew down my wigs anymore. I use an elastic band, but in case I ever do want to sew down my wigs, I have those two perimeter braids to sew it onto. I'll only sew it down if I like am going anywhere that could potentially have my wig flying. <laughs> I'm going to use my Blue Magic coconut oil that my friend gave me and just use it to grease my scalp and my hair. Now I'm going to take my actual coconut oil to also put on my scalp with and put on my hair. Last but not least, I'm going to put my Wild Glow for you because I've seen so many people talk about it and they say it's so great and it makes their hair grow so much. So I'm going to try it out and I'm going to use that to also oil in my hair and my scalp. I put a lot of oil and greases and stuff on my hair because horsey hair loves moisture, guys. So never hesitate. Your hair can never be too moisturized when it's horsey. Trust me. So now I'm just going to start cornrowing my hair and repeat the same steps with each cornrow I do. You're too slow!
final step. Now that my hair is all cornrowed, I'm getting ready to put on my wig. Y'all, I'm a clown. Ignore me. I have too much fun playing with my wig sometimes. it in the middle not too far up not too far back so that it blends in well and is nice and seamless and that's about it guys I'm just playing with my wig at this point but that's how I wash my hair and do my wig prep if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Meta Beauty channel. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all. See you in my next video. Bye!